during my home landscape and garden, I'm always looking for interesting ideas to try out. A couple of years ago, I combined two ideas, a little free library and fairy gardening. The idea of a little free library is a neighborhood book exchange based on the take a book, return a book idea. Anyone can take a book or bring a book to share. It's a favorite with the kids in the neighborhood. There's a mailbox with, of course, gardening catalogs and other magazines. There's even jigsaw puzzles. Last year I added solar lights that light up at night. Underneath the little free library is where the fairy garden has been built. A fairy garden is a playful miniature garden that brings good luck to your home. They include structures, signs, hardscapes, and living plants. In the past, I've grown New Look Celosia. Let me show you the latest fairy garden layout. This year, I'm sowing small marigold seed. So let's go ahead and place the house. I think every fairy needs a little river, so let's make one using these blue glass pebbles. Now add the gazing ball, a few colorful mushrooms, a couple of birdhouses, and a few other garden knickknacks. And finally, the fairy who's going to call this garden home. If you'd like more information on Little Free Libraries, go to littlefreelibrary.org. There's even a Little Free Library map. Maybe there's one near you. I'm horticulturist Gary Bachman, and I'll see you next time on Southern Gardening.